Hey guys, what's up? This is John from the Reaper blog. In this video, I'm going to show you a dialogue editing workflow that I use. I've got a custom action that makes the silences sound really natural. If you are new to dialogue editing, I think you will really like this. So what I have here is a recording of myself reading some ingredients in a taco seasoning recipe. I said each step of the ingredients list twice, then I can choose the best ones to move down to my selects track. After that, I will reposition the selected items and then duplicate those onto my edit track where I will insert the correct spacing between the files and fill with room tone. All these tracks are processed through a folder with RX4 dialog denoiser and a preset in Nectar 2. So let's listen to this and choose the best of the first few and we'll skip ahead till it's done. One tablespoon chili powder. One tablespoon chili powder. Okay, I like this one more, so I'm gonna command, drag that down. Quarter teaspoon garlic powder. Quarter teaspoon garlic powder. Quarter teaspoon garlic powder. Yeah, that's a bit better. Next, quarter teaspoon onion powder. Quarter teaspoon onion powder. Okay, and we'll skip ahead until it's all done. Okay, so I've made the last edit. I'm going to mute this track unmute this track, and I'm going to select these items. Open up the action list, find reposition, selected items. I'm going to run and close this, and I'm going to insert zero seconds between. I'm going to grab all these again and copy them down to the edit track. Mute this. All right, and now let's edit and clear up any noise and gaps between these items. So let's just really aggressively cut all this stuff out. And chili powder. Quarter teaspoon garlic powder. Quarter teaspoon, right? Let's just overdo it. Make this really, really tight. Okay, so I've got these gaps in between the items, and you can hear when the dialogue is present and when it's not. You can hear it drop down to digital silence. And that's not something that sounds very natural. So we're gonna go back to our original track. And I believe there was a very, very quiet section in between the dialogue that we can use for uh, room tone. So let's solo this section. I'm in loop playback. Quarter teaspoon. Dead silent, but not digitally silent. It's still barely there, but it's not nothing. All right, so let's drag this section down to our uh, room tone track. Gonna bring it all the way to the start. We're going to use the SWS loop section of selected items. So I'm going to run and close this, and then if we drag this out, it's going to just loop that little bit of silence, and we're going to go all the way to the end of the voiceover. All right, so now we've got this dialogue, and we've got the track below it with our uh, natural silence. So if I want to, I'm going to work in... I'm going to work in um, ripple editing mode. I'm going to just drag this out a little bit. Let's say 500 milliseconds start and drag this up, command click, and then make a little fade. Right? So it's a little slow, especially when you have thousands of edits to do it that way. So I made up a custom action. The custom action is called room tone. Insert room tone from track below. I'm gonna show you what's involved and it's fairly complicated. So I'm going to turn off ripple editing, I'm going to remove the area of the selected items. So if I make a selection uh, over some noise, a little click or something like that, or a breath, it will delete that section. It's going to select the next track this track below. It's going to select the items under the edit cursor on the selected track, meaning this room tone. 
It's going to copy the selected area, so just within time selection. It's going to go back up to the previous track. It's going to paste in there. It's going to turn on ripple editing again, and then it is going to grow that item using the nudge, which is another custom action. And that is uh, this custom action, which uses the saved nudge dialog settings. So nudge set. So my first saved nudge setting is left trim 40 milliseconds. And the second one is right trim 40 milliseconds. To save that, you just click on save here and then hit run and that saves it. All right, so we can close the action list. And I've got this action set control and R, R for room tone. Okay. And there you go. Let's listen to that and compare it to the original. One tablespoon chili powder. Quarter teaspoon garlic powder. Quarter teaspoon onion garlic powder. Quarter teaspoon onion powder. Quarter teaspoon. So there you go. It's not complete silence. It's a little more natural sounding. This can really, really help you and save a lot of time with uh, noise reduction removing clicks and all that kind of stuff. You just replace anything that's bad with this room tone loop. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it made sense. and hope you can find a place for this in your own workflow. Thanks for watching. Check out reaperblog.net for more tutorials. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next video.